The hot sun continues to beat down on Central Texas. Add in the lack of rain and the drought situation is only getting worse, especially out in the hill country. We've had some rain, it's just as soon as it hits, it's gone. And uh, so we've had, had a pretty rough time of it this year. The dry conditions quickly sparking burn bans throughout the area. To give you an idea of just how dry it is here, we're at the Llano River, specifically the spillway that cuts through the middle of town. Normally, there is water overflowing, but as you can see, it's just trickling down in some spots. We normally have a water, nice, beautiful waterfall right out here. It's just, um, it's very aesthetic driving across it. People can, uh, they stop and look, get out, take pictures, and uh, it's really beautiful, a great place to swim and, and do things. And right now it's just, uh, just a trickle going over the dam. The popular annual Llano Rock and River Fest announcing they're canceling this summer due to the extreme drought and low water levels. It was originally scheduled to take place the first weekend of July. Last year, I think they had close to 150 jet ski racers. And so it's a big thing for us. The, the committee's worked so hard on it over the last, um, really they've been working on it for six or seven months on it. So it's really tough to have to uh, just cancel something like that. I understand it, you know, how it happens. I just uh, you know, feel bad for them that they, uh, they did have to cancel it. With their big event on the river no more this year, Briley Mitchell with the Chamber of Commerce says this drought is causing the city to adapt in order to keep people coming to visit this summer. The city manager and um, our acting mayor and myself and a couple other people got together and we just moved a few things that would have been at Rock and River Fest to our uh, courthouse Square. We have a farmer's market there, so we're going to expand on that. There's still plenty of water to swim in the Llano River right now for those looking to escape the heat. And as we head into summer, Mitchell is optimistic more rain is on the way. In Llano, Stephen Sarabia, Fox 7 Austin News.